Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so glad to have you with me and just thankful for you, for your desire to study the Word of God. And my prayer for you is as you listen to these podcasts, perhaps you've got your Bible along with you, that you are learning how much God loves you and how much He wants us to know Him. And so that's the reason for these podcasts. They're just to inspire people to get into the Word of God on their own. God wants to speak to all of us, and he's our actual teacher through his Holy Spirit. And that's why we go to him in prayer every time we begin our study. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for your word. It's such a blessing to us. Even as it says in the book of Psalms, it's a lamp unto our feet. It's a light unto our path. And Lord, we want to hide your words in our hearts so that we won't sin against you. We ask you by your Holy Spirit to guide us into all truth today. Lord, and that you'll empower us to live according to your truth by your spirit as well. We bless you. We give you thanks and honor you for your word. And we do so in your son Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is, Do You Wash My Feet? It's taken from the book of John, chapter 13 and verse 6. The apostle John wrote how Jesus rose from supper, laid aside his garments, and took a towel and girded himself. After that, he had poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel wherewith he was girded. And in chapter 13 and verse 6 of his book, John shared how Jesus came to Simon Peter. And Peter said unto him, Lord, do you wash my feet? Where we read, Then came he to Simon Peter. And Peter said unto him, Lord, Do you wash my feet? The verse reads, Then came he to Simon Peter. John began with the words, Then came he, which means, At that time arose and appeared Jesus to Simon Peter, or towards Simon, uh, whose name means rock or stone, and Peter, whose name means little rock or stone. John shared how Jesus approached his disciple named Simon Peter to wash his feet. The verse continues, And Peter said unto him, Lord, do you wash my feet? John added the words, and Peter said unto him, which means, and Peter, whose name means a little rock or stone, uttered, declared, and proclaimed to Jesus, Lord, or one to whom a person or thing belongs about which he has power of deciding, master, and the title given to God the Messiah, do you wash my feet? Which means, are you going to cleanse my, Peter's, physical feet? John shared how Peter questioned Jesus as to whether he was going to wash his feet. When we meditate upon John's words in this verse, we learn how Peter was resistant to Jesus washing his feet. There's much discussion over why Peter questioned Jesus, but for now, let us know Jesus was willing to wash and dry Peter's feet. And his service to Peter would be an unforgettable benefit to Peter and his ministry. God serves people because he loves them. He sent his son Jesus into the world to be the Christ and Messiah of every person who believes and trusts in him. Those who are wise will not question Jesus' works, but rather yield to him as their personal Savior and Lord. Next time we see John share how Jesus says, What I do you know not now. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.